Hi, I'm Michelle Mealy. Come and join me in the kitchen and we'll cook some food and sing some songs and have a wonderful time. I'm here with my lovely grand niece, great grand, great grand, grand great niece, <laughs> Evelyn. And we are going to make, what are we going to make, Evie? Guac. Guacamole. Guacamole. Because it's easy and fun, right? And tastes delicious. Must have been particles nestled together. Fourteen billion years ago. Somehow we survived till now. Just to be thrown back into each other's outfit. So first we need avocado. Yes, very good. Avocado. And we also have some parsley, and we have some tomato, and we have some onion, and we have some onion, gar Crack. garlic, and look, salt and pepper. Yes. So let's start with our avocado. It's very simple to open an avocado. We just slice around like that, then we. A quick little scoop scoop into the bowl. You may start mashing with your fork if you like. Scoop and put it in. Usually for Sunday dinner, when we have lots of people, I use three avocados and about, you only need a hint of onion and garlic just to spice it up. And you don't need a lot of tomato. Mostly it's for color and texture, so you have a varying texture. Don't want to scare anybody else in the room. Recognize in your eyes all the old familiar faces. Little bits of particles spinning around. Do in the end I see pieces of me and you, baby. Rediscovering this love. And then we are going to add some tomatoes. Yum! These are lovely little grape tomatoes. And what color are these tomatoes, Evelyn? Some are red. And some are? Yellow. Yes! Isn't that lovely? We can put some yellow ones in. And then we have a beautiful, colorful guacamole. Yum! Chopping that onion up into little bits. Um, the, um, the avocado was stuck into my fork. Oh, <laughs> that silly avocado. <laughs> Don't stick to my fork, avocado. And now we're going to put in a little bit of garlic. So we'll just chop this up. I'll make a big bang. So we barely want a clove of garlic. Not even, like just a, just a little bit so that you say, oh yum, what's that flavor in there? We put in our parsley and let me mush that up. I will help you. Make the feeling real, a bit at a time. It doesn't have to rhyme, just join the crowd and sing out. We have to add what's going to make it taste delicious and citrus. This is a lime. Do you know what a lime is? We're going to squeeze lots of lime in. So this can all be adjusted to taste. So if you need it, oopsies, if you need it to taste more oniony or more garlicky, you can add more onion or garlic. 
I'm going to put two limes in because we like it very limey. For woman, child, and man, Greenland to Peru, Australia to Timbuktu. If we all joined in, something would begin. Squeeze, ready? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> it's difficult, isn't it? To squeeze the lines. There we go. If you have piano hands, it's easier because you're used to using your fingers and your... That's why every child should learn the piano. Music will save the world. Okay. Yes, you did. You did a wonderful job. Oh, this is going to be... Yeah. Now we'll add some salt and pepper. You say when. You say when it's enough. Okay. And pepper. Okay, and that's enough. Here we have our guacamole and multi grain. And then grapes are always good because you have nice freshness with the with the thickness of the cheese because these are quite. Um, strong flavors. Chiudiamo. We close it, we pinch it, and then just seal it with a fork to make sure. See how easy? Okay. Beautiful.